Good morning, class of tigers. Today is November 30th, and it is a purple day. Let's rise for the for the pledge. On over to the pledge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sally from the Phoenix. And I'm Josephine Payne, also I'm from the other uh, Credibles. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Unfortunately, there are no birthdays today. It's too cold outside! Sorry, I didn't watch the weather this morning. Then we should ask Mr. Brown. Maybe we should. Well, hello there, Plaza Middle School. This is Mr. Brown here today uh, to do the announcement. I forgot the clicker. It's Monday. It's dreary. It's rainy. That's the weather for you. Uh, J. Crew, go ahead and either click to the next slide for me or bring the clicker around. There we go. It's 40. It's rainy. It's been raining for how many days straight now? Can we get some sunshine, please? Let's call for some sun later this week. And it's kind of going to maybe possibly come out tomorrow there, 42 degrees. On uh, Tuesday and into Wednesday, getting a little warmer, finally hitting the 50s on the weekend. So, 30 is in the low, which means you should be dressing warm. Okay, warm clothes. Dress your warm clothes. It's going to be raining today, but on in the next week, it's going to get warmer. Birthdays! You know, there's none. Nobody in Plaza Middle School was born on today, which is what, November 30th? November 30th, no birthdays. And if there is a birthday out there on the November 30th, I'm going to apologize that we missed you, but J. Crew's got no birthdays today. On into your favorite, well, the Monday game is going to come next, but the birthday pencil, even though there's no birthdays, it's out chilling with the Frozen crew, and it makes total sense because it's chilly outside, it's freezing outside, there are little icicles outside forming this weekend, so uh, there it is, hanging out with the Frozen crew. I'd sing the song, but I'd probably break the, the mics in here. Let On into the favorite Monday game with Mr. Brown. Obviously, Mr. Brown's not here today, not feeling well, so I'm filling in and trying to do my best impression of Mr. Brown. My beard is no justice towards Mr. Brown's, but I'm attempting. So last week's clue was Caesar's song, and I believe the correct answer was salad ballad. And there it is, Salads Ballad. That was the answer. So get ready. You are not to email out Mr. Wilson because, as you all know, I am Mr. Brown today. So you're going to email your answers to Mr. Brown, and he will want nothing more than to get a bunch of emails while he's at home knowing that you all care about his Monday game. So here is the clue for this week. Veggie Trumpet. Veggie Trumpet. And I can't remember last week, I could have sworn Mr. Brown said something about a dollar. If you send in, you know, some of your own clues, some of your own games, so that way we could hear your creativity, because Mr. Brown is not that creative. So there it is, Betty Trumpet, send it off to Mr. Brown, not Mr. Wilson, Mr. Brown. Word of the week is revere, is to, to admire or to look up to. And speaking of admiring and admiration and looking up to someone, I have a very, someone I look highly up to. Believe it or not, I look up to, get here Mr. Calvin, I look up to this guy. Not because he's taller, but because he's just that awesome. He has some very important news to share about Mr. I'm not even going to say his name because I don't like him. All right. Mr. Wilson, I do want to say, Mr. Wilson had told me all last week that he was shaving immediately after he got home. And I to it pointed out that November was not over until today. So I do want to say I'm proud of you Thank for you. keeping that around. Thank you. All right? Thank you. I know there are a lot of guys looking forward to shaving uh, tomorrow morning. Um, but No Shave November is almost officially over, guys. I want to thank you. Um, this We set a record. We've done this for four or five years. We raised, um, you guys went nuts last uh, Tuesday. Uh, we got a total of almost $550 in one day um, for a grand total that we raised for J. Crew and our technology um, fund, $903.97. Come on, J. Crew. All right. All right. 
um, that is a record. We've, like I said, we've done this for a number of years. Um, that is awesome. We really appreciate your guys' school spirit um, and you guys helping out with that. Um, and in the amazing comeback of the year, Mr. Fleshman surged from fifth place and due to somebody brought in a bag full of change with almost a hundred bucks in it. Um, so Mr. Fleshman rallied and got a total of $177 um, on the for the whole thing. So he was our winner, which means Mr. Fleshman tomorrow will be down here with a student and a pair of clippers and he will be shaved on announcements tomorrow. Um, so we'll get to see that. Uh, filling out the top three, Mr. Gorski was a close second with $155. Uh, Mr. Reagan was $137. Um, and Luke, come up here. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Davis, I'd like to give a shout out for Davis and his beard that raised a whopping $1.25. Um, he did come in last, so we appreciate that. And I want to point out, Luke Brown jumped in at the end and got a stocking cap and a fake beard and got his picture taken. And he managed to raise more money than me. I don't know how a kid with no beard raises more money than me. But Luke finished 10th. I finished a disappointing 12th. Um, you know, but that's that's what it is. So um, anyway, uh, again, guys, thanks a lot. I know it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of school spirit, but uh, especially <laughs> thank you for your generosity and for donating to No Shave November. Um, it says a lot about you guys in the school that we're willing to chip in for that. So thanks a lot, and uh, have a great Monday. And here's Dr. Ivy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Calvin, and I, I want to also express um, gratitude to everyone who participated and Mr. Calvin for organizing that for us um, for November, because today is the last day of November. Welcome back. I hope you had a great holiday. Um, we are excited to have everyone here. A couple of things. We only have three weeks left before we're on our winter break. So one of the things you have to remember is that you have to really stick with it right now. You are gonna have several assignments in almost every class, and you might get doubled up on homework, and you are going to have to be paying attention so that you don't fall behind in this, this next three weeks, because I know your teachers have um, a lot of great lessons planned, you're gonna have several assessments at the same time and we need you to be on top of it so that you um, are ready to, go to, to finish out this semester strong. We are, a couple of, just little reminders, we have Lost and Found that is getting washed and cleaned up and then we send our Lost and Found to the Park Hill Clothing Center. Please check that on your way to lunch this week because what's there at the end of the week will get donated to the Park Hill Clothing Center. Um, teachers, we also had a long car line, so we sent an email about excusing them. I hope everyone has a marvelous day. We will see you down in the cafeteria, and remember, work hard today. Okay, first of all, clap for this guy. Raise more money than Mr. Calvin. Okay. For lunch today, we have... Chicken fried steak or turkey pot pie. The premium meal is the boneless wings bar. The sides are broccoli, potatoes, and fruit cocktail. Okay. Green... M Mr. Duke would like to see these students after announcements. Anna Lund and Austin Haggard. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Okay. And Green Club Group 4 and Mr. Brown's J. Crew meet in Mrs. Peeler's room, 503, after school today. Let's make today count. Join us in our sign-off. It's a great day, day to, to be, be a, a tiger. tiger. Rawr. Rawr.